previously on the Canadian Rally Championship. After a hard-fought battle at Rally Pers Neige, the teams heading west were challenged by the worst weather conditions in years. Tough conditions, but uh, last year it worked for us, so hopefully it's the same. I'm, I'm expecting a good battle. Uh, given our finish at the first event, I got to go all out for a win. We're ready to go. Richard led most of the day with Lestage and Crazy Leo hot on his heels until a costly mistake handed Team Rockstar their second win of the season. Today, the 2011 Canadian Rally Championship crests at the halfway point in front of the biggest spectator field in North America. Team Subaru and the Rockstar team will have to face off against a field thick with drivers, all gunning for the podium. It's the Rally Beta Chaleur now on TSN. Hello, Canada, and welcome to New Richmond, Quebec, on the gorgeous Gaspé Peninsula and the home to some of the most passionate rally fans in North America. It's Rally Beta Chaleur, and all the teams are gearing up for the big show. Yeah, it's a great event. I mean, this is uh, probably the most exciting event in the North American Championship. This is uh, my personal favorite by far. It has amazing roads, just they have special rhythm. Competition will be there as usual. Pat is here, Antoine, Leo, Bruno. Good competition again at the front, so um, Craig and, uh, and Bruno are back, so that's very good. And uh, obviously Pat and Leo will be there, so uh, yeah, it should be a good battle. One of the best things about rallying is the passionate, passionate spectators. And you do want to try to do something a little bit special for them. There are literally thousands of spectators lining the roads and they really get into it. The spectator here is awesome, you know, it's the best event for that. Uh, I think it's probably one of the best crowd uh, you can have. A lot of spectators out here, a lot of people that I know, a lot of people, a lot of fans for us. And it's always good to put a little bit of extra uh, sideways stuff for them. Oh, it's going to be amazing. It's much better to have a fight with somebody than just drive uh, kind of on your own. As you know, I like to win, I like to battle, so we'll try hard. And uh, I'm, I'm aiming for a podium for sure. Everybody hopes to, to win. Uh, we won't hide that we'd love it, but uh, it's going to be tough. I, I think we hold the record for the most victories here, so hopefully this will be another one. You know, it's going to be a good event. It's going to be close no matter what. Beta Chaleur presents the teams with nearly 200 fast and challenging kilometers over 14 special stages, most of them lined with spectators. The urge to show off for the fans can lead to disaster, and the drivers need to keep their heads in the game to endure to the finish. The Canadian Rally Championship on TSN is brought to you by Subaru. Think, feel, drive, Subaru. Along with Paul Chater, it's time to go to the stages now, and Beta Schler doesn't keep the fans waiting. This first stage will run right through one of the biggest spectator areas of the championship. And those spectators are in for a heck of a show. Having yet to collect a win this season, Patrick Richard and Subaru Rally Team Canada are going to be on the attack this weekend. They've got to make up some ground on Antoine Lestage here, or they're going to have a huge mountain to climb for the second half of the season. And Paul, look at those fans, hear those fans, largest in North America. Now, of course, the Rockstar Royal Group team isn't going to make it easy for Team Super. Remember last year, Antoine Lestage and Natalie Richard, they won the Rally America Championship. This year, they just lost, finishing second. Oh, that hurt. Boy, he almost put it right on the nose. Now they're continuing to press on, so you think that the damage would be a little light. Now having debuted his new partnership with Irish co-driver Martin Brady at the Rocky Mountain Rally to third, crazy Leo Erlichich is looking for a second podium of the year. Leo is having a bad start. He's having boost problems, and he's losing time to the leaders rapidly. Bruno Carre, who led the championship going into the Rally Beta Chaleur in 2010, is having better luck. Bruno is a solid threat for the podium this weekend. His conservative strategies often pay off, especially at events like this, where the temptation to show off can override some driver's better judgment. Craig Henderson is also an expert at playing it cool. After a bad start to the season, Craig is back on the stages with his regular partner, Lynn Murphy. The rapport these two have built over the years will serve them well this weekend. Now mindset we know is a huge part of rallying. You have to know, you have to trust. And when you're competing at this level, it's all important. Now, Crazy Leo no longer the only upstart trying to make his mark in the championship. Max Riddle may be young, but he's full of raw talent, rally spirit, and has that rocket rally looking after him. 
Well, the 2010 novice champion Hugo de Grenier has already racked up one podium finish this season. He had a good battle with Crazy Leo at Rally Paris Neige, and the young driver must be gunning for a rematch. So the leaderboard after three stages, trouble for Team Subaru, problems with boost control, costs them a minute to the Rockstar team. Henders and Cade only six seconds apart in the battle for third. When we come back, the rally begins to take its toll. We did a big jump and landed on the nose, and all the fuses blew, so we had no lights for the camp relay stage. We broke the rear diff inside. It was very hard to finish the stage. We barely finished the stage. Hey, Mario. Hey, what do you got in this thing? Uh, 16 valve, 2.4 liter engine, 200 horsepower. Uh, air conditioning. 32 valve, 3.5 liter engine, 650 horsepower, air conditioning. Honda builds every IndyCar engine. It's our commitment to racing and engineering. The same engineering that goes into the all-new Civic, the official vehicle of the IZOD IndyCar series. Welcome back to Rally Beta Chaleur on TSN. And this legendary rally, Paul, already started to take its toll on teams and cars. But the Rockstar World Group fared better than most. Edwin Lestage has a solid lead. Yeah, it's going very well. Uh, we won the three stages and we're leading by 59 seconds a minute, I think. A few little moments there. And yeah, in the last stage, we had a hit the dip and the car like was on the nose like that and flat in fifth gear. So it was a bit of a moment, but didn't break anything and everything's okay. Unbelievable the amount of spectator we saw at the first stage. Uh, typical Bay and uh, it's awesome to have so many people there. It's uh, it's great. So we'll see. I'll keep a good pace tonight and uh, see where we are. and. Uh, Hopefully the car stays in one piece and we can keep going tomorrow. Team Subaru hasn't fared as well through the first loop of stages. Yeah, I mean, uh, we were losing turbo boost and uh, on the first stage we dropped about 15 seconds. Second stage we dropped over half a minute. So uh, it was tough going for us, but uh, I was able to try to affect a, a little bit of a repair on the side of the road. Uh, we got a little bit of a time penalty going into the last stage, but uh, we dropped, instead of dropping 30 seconds, we only dropped 10, so it's not <laughs> made the best of it. It's crazy muddy and uh, it's really greasy out there, so it's a, it's a handful trying to keep the car on the road. I mean, we had a, I'm sure everybody had a few moments there, but uh, you know, we're hanging on and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll be there at the finish. Now, Bruno Carre might prefer ice to gravel, but he's off to a great start, battling Henderson for third. It's going fine. Actually, I thought it would be uh, a lot slipperier than that. So uh, it's OK. And we can we can see where it's muddy, so uh, there's not that many places where, where we can be caught. So it's OK. And the Beast is having some teething problems with recent upgrades. Yeah, it hasn't been going fantastic. It hasn't been going uh, as quickly as we would like it to be. It's going a bit slower than we intended. The first stage we had a problem with the turbo. The car was very snappy. It was reacting very strangely. We didn't know what it was. We thought it was something up. And then the problem became more apparent. We uh, blew a pipe on the turbo. We thought it was the turbo ah. itself. We uh, slowed down, turned all the switches off and all the funny things off and uh, drove out of the stage as quickly as we could and then got a, a puncture on top of that, so we've dropped, I think, about four minutes. But the atmosphere is very good here. We're still here, we get to do them at night, and that's good, and let's see how we go. Oh, and all that trouble, well, at least the paint is still uh, searing, well, shiny. I can barely hear you, it's that loud. Now, uh, back on the stages, having led the first pass, Team Rockstar Royal Group is ready to start the second loop. Now, not only are they leading the rally and the championship, the Rockstar team also has uh, another reason to celebrate here at Rally Beta Chaleur. You see, this event marks Antoine Lestage's 100th performance rally as a driver. Rather than be rewarded, Antoine's developing troubles of his own. The rear diff is starting to come apart, and the center diff is struggling to divert power to the front axle. Driveline trouble is the last thing he needs. And meanwhile, Patrick Richard's troubles continue to mount. A nose-on landing following a jump has torn some of the lights off the front of the car and has blown the fuses for most of what's left. When tearing through the woods at night, normal headlamps seem like little more than candles, but at least there are plenty of flash bulbs to keep the roads lit. Wow, and you see the uh, glow of the rotors there. Now, some of the young guns like Hugo de Grenier must love oh my I was going to say he must love this but not that he actually turns it over in the same spot as Pat Richard did a year ago he just cut the corner a little too much the same as Richard did last year Hugo even had a note in his rootbook that said don't do like Pat what get 
Well, he uh, at least is imitating the best, isn't he? Better luck next time, Ugo. He is out, of course, and now the battle of the team swap shot drivers. Bruno Carré, Craig Henderson trading seconds. Both Bruno and Craig, veterans in the sport, both have well-prepared cars and both have the skill. Neither Bruno nor Craig is willing to give an inch. When both of these drivers are on their game, they always end up battling each other like this. With the competition as tight as it is between these two, the first mistake will also likely be the last. And you talked about a mistake, and there it is, Paul. That was a solid hit. Henderson's rally is over. And with the turbo hose repaired and the beast back at full power, Crazy Leo and Martin Brady are rapidly making up lost time. And you know he just can't help but put it a little sideways to impress the fans. They love it, of course. Now, he's climbing the leaderboard, too. Now just ahead of Max Riddle, who's up to fifth. The young Rocket Rally driver is keeping it smooth and steady. So as we check the leaderboard, that blown rear differential has wiped out Lestage's lead. Richard is now in first place by less than 10 seconds. Carré is solidly in third, and Leo is quickly making up ground. It's up to the service crews to keep the players in the game. Yeah, I mean, we've been having a tough day. Uh, just the first stage out of here, we lost the light pod. Uh, 1K to the stage, we did a big jump and landed on the nose, and the bottom lights got ripped off, and all the fuses were blue, so we had no lights for the Camp Relay stage. Three or four Ks from the end, we broke the rear diff inside. Some of the mechanism inside broke. It was very hard to finish the stage. We barely finished the stage. We're struggling, but I'm, you know, I'm always trying, trying to keep it in there. So we just barely finished the stage, and we're here. We lost. We're two and a half minutes slower than our previous time in that same stage, so. This is one of the toughest events in the championship, and we got to keep the card in one piece to finish, and uh, I'm going to give her everything I got to try to keep that lead. We're behind by nine seconds, so it's very close, so it's going to be a good fight tomorrow. Looking forward to it. It's going to be good for the spectators. Good show. And the mechanics will work all night here at the Rally Beta Chaleur. With so much racing going on in the world, You'd have to be a four-headed monster to keep up with it all. Luckily, we have that. Join Peter Keane, Bill Wood, Errol Tucker, and their guest driver analyst each week for an opinionated look at the news coming out of the racing world. Remember, it's GoRacingTV.com for all your racing and video needs. Welcome back to Rally Beta Chaleur on TSN. Vic Roto along with Paul Chater as we get ready to start the second and final day here in New Richmond, Quebec. The rain thankfully holding off and the sun, they say, is going to break through soon. And Vic, if you thought the crowds were big yesterday, look out. The rally ends with the famous Sauté Rong Sank jump where the cars will actually cross the finish line in the air. But the teams still have a lot of stage miles to cover. And after the turmoil for both Subaru Rally Team Canada and the Rockstar Royal Group, both teams now are hitting the stages with essentially a clean slate. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, basically a whole reset. Uh, we had some mechanical problems yesterday and so we're down to one. So it's like a whole new rally starting this morning and we've got a nine second lead. It's got to be uh, whoever has the fewest problems today and uh, hopefully that's going to be us. And Paul, with both cars back in action, you got to believe that Richard and Lestage owe major thanks to their service crews. Yeah, both the Team Subaru crew and the Rockstar mechanics know what it takes to keep their charges in action. It takes a combination of mechanical ability, problem solving, and drive to make a good rally mechanic. Oh boy, and it looks like they're not finished yet. Richard has broken a rear control arm, and that's going to cost him time. And it won't be long before the Rockstar Royal Group team presses that advantage. With 100 rallies under his belt, the 2010 Triple Crown winner knows what it takes to win rallies. Well, when you first start rally, it's, uh, there's so many things to learn and uh, pace notes and read the road and the car's adjustments and all these things. And uh, when I was young, I was just trying to go flat out everywhere with a little car trying to beat the front guys, but it's not possible. And then it took some time and I got some results and you start to understand the sport a little bit more. And, and it's a sport where you need experience. I worked my way and uh, here we are. Bruno Carré is starting to lose a little time to Crazy Leo. 
the lead swap shop driver's engine is misfiring and it's costing him speed. Leo, on the other hand, has to thank the dedication of Can Jam Motorsports, the boys, the beast, as he calls his bright orange STI, is back and fighting form now after that all-nighter by the service crew. Having gone out in the first stage of the Rocky Mountain Rally, Max Riddle has learned his lesson and isn't getting drawn into any battles. He's running a steady fifth overall and will collect points today if he can keep his cool. Man, they are true logging roads, aren't they? Now in two-wheel drive, it was a battle of Das Autos. Volkswagens, Patrick Sear and Jerry Plourd pedaled their 94 GTI to third in class, while David Berube duked it out with Simon Dubé for the lead in the class. Berube led most of the event, but had trouble near the end, eventually settling for second, while Dubé topped the podium. Now back in service, Subaru Rally Team Canada has their hands full. Yeah, originally on the stage, I thought we had a flat tire because it, it handled like we had a flat tire. But uh, as the stage wore on, the car stopped working. And uh, basically, when the control arm sheared, it broke the drive shaft about 5K later. So the car was all over the place. We nursed it back. We borrowed a, we borrowed a ratchet strap from Antoine and he let us, uh, let us get another couple K. And we just made it. While it's all systems go for the Rockstar Royal Group team. Yeah, it's a uh, oh, typical bay again. Uh, pushed really hard, and I'm sure he did the same. Unfortunately, he had a problem. Could, could have been us, but uh, I mean, I want to say thank you to my guys last night. They did a great job to fix the car, and uh, it's it's not perfect, but close to perfect. So I can I can try hard, and uh, sometime maybe I would take it a little bit more easier, but uh, that's how it is. And now it's it's going okay, so I'm pleased with that. Meanwhile, engine problems aren't helping Bruno Carre keep Crazy Leo back. It's going fine. We had an issue with the, uh, we didn't know what it was. It was uh, like a misfire. We just found out uh, a few minutes ago the intercooler is broken. So they're going to switch it. We should be okay. It didn't cost us too much time, so we're okay. Today, it's, uh, we have good, good grip, so uh, we need to uh, push a little more. And we have, we have room for it, so uh, it should be okay. We're fighting with Leo. We need to push hard, and he's going to push hard too. So uh, it's going to be a big fight. Uh, surprisingly, it's uh, not me that's the problem this time because everybody thought that we, I'm going to crash, go off the road, but it's the car that let us down a little bit. The very easy thing, we just blew the turbo hose last night, lost a lot of time with that. It seems to be getting better now. The guys are trying their best every time in service, doing, uh, you know, doing good job. They didn't go to bed at all at night. So, you know, I'm trying my best to keep it on the road and uh, that's, that's how it goes so far. It's a very, very exciting rally, and even though we're in a fight and we're trying to be serious, it's all about having fun at the first place. Definitely sounds like Leo has his priorities straight. You bet you he does. Now, back on the stages, Paul Richard has the hammer down, boys, trying to make up lost ground of Lestage. With the car back in fighting form, Richard needs to play it cool, push to stay close, and pounce when Lestage makes a mistake or has some bad luck. And you don't know if and when it will even happen. Doesn't seem like Lestage, though, is having any trouble in the second loop of the day. Rally Beta Chaleur has some of the most dynamic and difficult road conditions in the entire championship and that has a way of magnifying mistakes. Even if both cars perform perfectly from this point on, it's way too early to call. And although Bruno Carre's STI is a back to full power, he can't quite match Crazy Leo's pace, and the gap between the two Subaru drivers is slowly shrinking. Pretty soon, Bruno is going to have to be checking his rear view mirrors for Leo. Uh, let's just hope Bruno is wearing his sunglasses when he does. Man, that orange pops. So going into the last loop, Richard will need a miracle to make up the three minutes that he's lost. Leo is now only three seconds behind Carre in that battle for third. The cars are back in for a final service, and there's big trouble in the Rockstar camp. Yeah, we're actually taking it pretty slow because we have over a three-minute lead. And um, as we finished the stage, uh, stopped, got our time, and went to go again, we realized that uh, first gear is uh, probably shot and uh, reverse as well. So we're trying to decide now, do we change the gearbox and take penalties coming out of service because it's going to take longer than the allotted time we have? Or do we risk it and go and hope that uh, most of our gear stay intact? Meanwhile, Patrick Richard hasn't heard the news. Uh, more of the same. I mean, we're uh, a couple minutes behind Antoine and a couple minutes ahead of the guy in third. So uh, stay the course, get good points for the championship, and uh, we're just going to have to win the next three rallies. But maybe not. You see, Rockstar has decided to swap the gearbox. We'll find out if they get it fixed in time when we come back. Well, Greg Creamer, GoRacingTV.com has done it again. They've come up with uh, reruns of the Viper Racing Series, which you and I are kind of interested in. Very interested in. And folks, if you haven't seen this, 
tune in because that racing is absolutely spectacular. These special spec cars that they've come up with, the performance level of these things, Tom, has been spectacular. The racing close, celebrity guest drivers of sorts that get in the mix and have some fun. And what it's actually turned into is an incredibly exciting series. In its debut year, you can revisit it right here at GoRacingTV.com. And about the fifth best thing about the series is that Greg and I host it. We'll see you on GoRacingTV.com coming up this season. Way down the left. Way, way. So here we go, everybody buckle up the famous Soderang Sank stage. Large crowds and one of the biggest jumps in North America. The next stage is the toughest stage in Canadian Rally, so I'm looking forward to it. It's 24 Ks of uh, pure, awesome driving with different road surface conditions. You get spectators in the middle of nowhere and then you want to go a little bit more sideways, you know, for a good show. It's going to be a great show for everyone involved. The Canadian Rally Championship on TSN is brought to you by Subaru. Think, feel, drive Subaru. And by Yokohama Tires. Now you've got control. And lining up to start, Leanne, why don't you count us down? Five, four, three, two, one, go. So Richard just starting the last loop, but Paulie's already made up big time on the stage. The Rockstar team are still putting the new gearbox in the cart. They'll be done soon, but most of their lead will be eroded by penalties when they finally hit the start line. And he knows it. The final stage of Rally Beta Chaleur is one of Crazy Leo's favorites. All of us, really. It has everything he loves on the stage. Challenge, rhythm, excitement, and lots of fans. Yeah, the question now is, can he catch Bruno Carré by the end of the rally? He's got the speed, but there isn't enough rally left for him to make any mistakes. Bruno, for his part, isn't going to willingly give up ground. He usually plays a conservative game, keeping some speed in reserve for when he can risk dialing it up a notch. And that time is now, and I'm sure he wants to taste the champagne again. Young gun Max Riddle and co-driver Aaron Newman have kept it smooth and consistent to the end. The new driver has shown surprising maturity following his DNF at the Rocky. If he keeps this up, it won't be long before we see him on the podium. He finishes fifth overall today. Vermont Sports Car prepares the uh, autos for the Subaru Rally Team USA and Joel Levac. And he's driving one of their monsters. He's still getting used to it, Paul, but he's managed to squeak past. Swap chops Mark Borassa to lock up sixth place. Borassa settles for seventh. Nostagia's crew finally finished the gearbox swap, and he's out on the stage, but the penalties he collected for his extended service has cut his lead from three minutes to 50 seconds. It still doesn't sound right, does it? There doesn't seem to be the speed there. The engine has a boost problem and is struggling to make power. It's going to be very, very close. Well, you can tell by the uh, car color, this is Crazy Leo, final stretch. Now he's had the blown turbo, he's had a flat tire, boost control. Does he have enough, though, to catch Bruno Carré? The speed building up. Remember now, it's the final jump. Total timers running. Foot to the floor. Here he comes to the jump. What's he got? Two hours, 27.4 seconds. Beats Bruno Carré for third by 42 seconds. Lestage is still bleeding what's left of his lead with the boost issue, and Richard looks like he's actually going to finish Bay this year with an intact car. Okay, here we go. Richard going to set the time to beat. Here it comes. The jump, the time. It is 1.58, 30.7, and it's still too close to call. Hey, Antoine had a problem. Not sure how he did, but we just drove like we've been driving all day, and if it's our win, it's our win, and if it's his win, you know, it's just a battle of attrition. The car sounds really sick. It's amazing that it'll even get close to the finish line like that. So here we go. Final stretch. Trying to get the most out of his wounded car. The stash. Watch for it. Watch for it. Watch for the time coming up. Here it is. 158, 10.1. He's done it by 20.6 seconds. He's won the Rally Beta Chaleur. The stash earns top spot the hard way. With Richard only 20 seconds back. Crazy Leo collects his second podium of the season. Co-driver Martin Brady just squeezing past Bruno Carré in four. Now halfway through the season, Lestage has opened up a considerable lead on Richard in the race to the Fiddler Cup, and points collected today are enough for Leo to tie Bruno Carré for third. With all the challenges, it was a great day. It went well, uh, as usual. Uh, very much enjoyed stages here. Bay de amazing roads, amazing spectators, amazing rally. The challenge of it, scenery, everything. I, I, at the, I, right now, standing here, finishing the rally I can't praise it highly enough. The car has not a single scratch on it so I'm pretty happy for that. 
Uh, today it went up and down. It started very well this morning and then we had problems and uh, Pat had a problem too. We had a big lead going in the last two stages and then we broke the gearbox on the stage before the last one. We had three minutes earlier today and we were only winning by, uh, by 20 seconds, I think, so crazy. Yeah, I mean, both of us are going pretty quick. The problem is <laughs> we got to make sure the cars can take it. <laughs> Definitely an up and down roller coaster for both of us. And uh, battle of attrition, rally beta chaleur, it's never clean run for anyone. <laughs> so with the season half over, the teams now get a bit of a break before facing off again at Rally Defi in September. Paul Chater and our fire crew, thank you for joining us. The Canadian Rally Championship on Canada's sports leader, TSN.